A flash flood warning is in effect for parts of our area this evening. Route 51 near Greenlee Road in Brentwood is flooded. You can see the water bubbling up from the storm sewer near the Sunoco gas station there. There are several sections of Route 51 underwater this evening. Power is also out along that road. Amy Wattis is live in Bon Air, where the water is now covering the road. Amy? Hi, Stacy and Susan. And uh, the water here has actually really receded pretty quickly. As you can see behind me, just a short time ago, we were on the air, and you saw that the outbound lanes coming from the city were both completely covered with water, but now you can see just the right lane is partially covered. This water is coming from Sawmill Run Creek here, and we are standing right in between Bonaire and Brookline at the intersection of Edgebrook Avenue. And further down here, you can see flashing lights. Uh, emergency crews have uh, that section of 51 closed off and where we're standing is still closed off to traffic because it's still too dangerous for uh, cars to come through here. Even though the water has receded for the most part, there is debris all over the road. If you look this way, you can see some in the opposing lane. There were a few tires behind me. There's a dumpster that floated in from the middle of the street off to the side of the road. Uh, there are several folks that are standing around watching in amazement all of this flooding and how quickly the, the water flooded onto the roadways. There's actually a local veterinary clinic right near us, and we spoke to a woman who works there. There, Hear what she had to say to us. Pretty crazy, I have to say. I know it was supposed to rain today, but I had no idea it was going to be this, uh, this much water, this fast. We actually don't close until 8, but our power is out right now, so we, we're going to close a little early. And as you heard, power is out to some of these local businesses here, so uh, we'll have to check on that and see how long power will be out in the area. Um, we are going to go further down 51 once we are finished here to get a look and see how, how bad the road is up that way. Again, we are on 51 at the intersection of Edgebrook Avenue in between Bonaire and Brookline, standing right in between those two parts of the city. So. Uh, like I said, the stretch of road is shut down. The flooding is going down, fortunately, but crews are going to be out here cleaning up the debris on the roadway, so it's unclear for now how long this part of the road will be closed. We will let you know when we find out that the road has reopened. For now, we are live. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News. All right, Amy, thanks so much for that update. There's a more flooding tonight. A car also stuck in floodwaters on Lebanon Church Road. This is where it intersects with Clareton Road. Police are at that location blocking off the intersection. The parking lot at Cassidy Village Shopping Center in Baldwin, Whitehall, also flooded. Many cars surrounded there. This is Cassidy Village at Wayman Road. Also news from the Port Authority that flooding has all inbound and outbound Blue Line Library rail cars blocked at Logan Road. The Port Authority has crews on the way and the Port Authority also reports that bus routes 55, 56 and 59 are running up to an hour late because they have to detour around a landslide.